Welcome back to Baker Street Gaming. I'm Watson. I'm Leo. I'm gonna face Bald Bull. He's going down. Because I know his weakness. Yeah, we figured it out. Watson did some practices. A practice. A One practice. single practice. Ooh. Which is all I did for uh, Popinski, too. We learned some good stuff. He's from Turkey. Yes. I did. He's also a local celebrity. That paparazzi is all over him and he hates it. So, got some quite. Okay, that's a thing, I guess. Got yeah. some question for you, Watson. Alright. I said some question. Okay. What do you know about art? Uh, he's a great character in Monsters University. Okay, what do you know about, like, paintings and actual art, Watson? I beg your pardon, but that was actual art. That was an actual guy named Art. Okay, what do you know about paintings, Watson? And by an actual guy, I meant... Well, I'm a big fan of uh, Van Gogh, actually. Okay. I like his work. That, that was more or less my question of what kind of art do you like, Watson? Because... Van, I Gogh's, studied... Van Gogh is one of my more favorite artists. Okay. More favorite? More favorite. Okay. I asked because I studied art for a long time. You did? I did. Oh. I didn't know that. Really? No, I didn't. Oh. That was also under the things that I competed academic for academics okay. in high school. Um, yeah. A lot of academic competition. Mainly we sat and read stuff and t took tests over it. All right. I went to an art school forever as well. Okay. Which I think we've talked about. Maybe. Either way. Oh, by the way, this is cool. Instant knockout punch. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a thing. Um, but no. I, I was just curious. Because I know I really like specific painting being the Nighthawk by Edward Hopper. Uh-huh. Um, which I know a lot of people know what it is. It's the, one, it's the bar scene with the lady in the red dress. And there's a bar without a, like, without a door to get behind it. It's a bunch of people sitting there, and it's on a, you're standing outside on the street, basically, right. looking in. It's one of my favorite pieces, mainly because you can create a lot of story behind it. Like, And that's always been a writing prompt I've done a lot of. Like, stare at this painting and write a, write a, write a story about it or something. Right. And I always liked doing the one for the Nighthawk, because it's just like, hey, you can tell a oh, lot hey, of look, stories with I'm it. I'm done with Bald Bull. That practice really helped. Also, that instant knockdown really helped. Okay, well, um, that's not an episode. Like, I, Bald Bull's nothing. It's also because you know his instant knockdown. It was a lot easier, I think. Wow. Uh, I might have to take this into title defense. You still have one more, don't you? Uh, there's two more, guys. Then why would you have to go into title defense? After you beat the second, the, the, Second of these two guys. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. I meant, like, continue to play oh, through. Oh, okay. Super Macho Man! He's Super Macho. And he's also a man. Apparently. Let's take a look at what he's like. I have a feeling this is not going to be a good time. But, Bald Bull went down way too easily. It's true. So... Okay. He's from Cali. Hollywood, in fact. That's hot. Isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I know. Studied art. Sugar Daddy. I really like Edward Hopper. Uh, I know the painting you're referring to. Specifically. It's a very Hawk. famous painting. It is. Like, Edward Hopper is not necessarily the most famous of people, but his painting, uh, The Nighthawk, really is. Oh, goodness. Macho, macho man. Oh, he does that same punch that Witch McCullough does. That uh, Popinski does. He comes up like that. Because Popinski does that same pose. He's... Photo op, you're right. Take it. I also really like... This um, guy's not that hard. Oh, there's, there's a couple others that I can't think of right now that I really like. I really like Monet's pieces. Monet and Van Gogh had similar styles, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I really, I'll, I'll be honest. I one of my like one of my my probably second favorite mm. pieces is um. Dang it. Starry Night. I very much. I, I like Night. that. 
I like that one too. And uh, now I feel like we have to play Super uh, New Super Mario Bros. U. Because it has a stage based on that painting. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I really like Van Gogh, but that's also because... Right. I'll be honest, I like Van Gogh because of the Doctor Who episode, Vincent and the Doctor. And I, I was um, wrong. This guy's actually... He takes lots of... Da he, take, he deals out damage like none other. And also, he flexes his pecs because he yeah, does that. That's... It's realistically the reason why I like Vincent Van Gogh is because of that episode. Ah. And the quote at the end of that episode, which isn't a quote from Van Gogh, it's a quote from the episode. I don't know where his stars are, though. Whoa, oh, that hey, punch. That's new. Okay. You got knocked out. Uh, I did. Uh, I need to find his stars. It's been a really art-filled episode. Yes, yes it has. But again, yeah, no, I studied art for a long time and I really like it. Stuff about me. That really? guy's rich. Really? Yeah. Wow. I just realized the front of his um, banana hammock says super. And the back says macho man. I knew the back said macho man. I saw that, but I didn't realize but the front said you're just, super. But you're just uh, held up on the fact that Frankie should have that speedo. Yeah. Yeah. Super. It doesn't necessarily need to say macho man, though. Just super. Just super. All right, we're going to try one more time. Because we've got enough time for that. Ha! Oh, look. He actually has birds. Unlike some of the other guys. Yep. That's interesting. One, two, three. Oh, only three. I think there were birds. One, two, three. Pretty sure they're birds. They There's like his birds. star. Huh? One, two. Oh, that was almost really bad. They are birds. Yeah, they are birds. Yo, that was almost really bad. You almost got... Do came back from the dodge and got yeah. smacked. Dang it. So I got a question for all of you guys out there viewing this at some point. I really like writing and I've been thinking of or at least thinking for our channel to film some skits once we have the ability to do so. I was curious if any of you would be interested in seeing that sort of thing. From Watson and I. If you'd like to see that, uh, leave, a comment. leave a comment. Also like the video. Also like the video. But uh, yeah, no, leave a comment if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Cause oh, he did his spin move. I have a couple ideas for one or two, and uh, yeah. Dang. I mean, if you guys don't comment, I might we might end up making them anyways. Yeah. But uh, I want to know what you guys think. Those of you who watch this. Wow. Uh, I think they'd be interesting. Or at least the couple oh, that I've seen are kind of funny. The couple that I've uh, been thinking about are... Or don't give anything out in my head are kind of funny. I don't plan on giving out anything because it's really kind of hilarious. I want to see people's general reaction when they... All genuine right. reaction when they see it. If they... if Whenever we end up making it. Well... One of them for sure we're making, so... But okay. There's well, some things we need to get for that first. That's going to be it for this episode because Macho Man clearly needs some practice. Clearly. So what's going to happen is we're going to see you next time. But before we go and you click off of this video, you're going to need to like and leave a comment. And if you want, you can also subscribe. Also, we have a Twitter feed and we have a Facebook page. They're both down in the description. If you would follow and like those respectively, we would be ever so grateful. And this, is, this has been a very unstressful episode <laughs> of Punch-Out. I didn't make as much money this time. But, you know what? I'm going to come back and I'm going to take down Super Macho Man. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Peace out.